Hey guys! So last year I posted this extremely awesome Venom skull cake. It started off in my skull pan and then I added some cake ball dough and created this awesome shape. Now this cake took me about, to be exact, probably like a million hours, probably. If I want to be extremely exact, I would say like a million and one hours. So the question I'm going to be answering today is can I make this cake under 30 minutes? I want to challenge myself with this cake, so instead of 30 minutes, I'm going to be doing it in 20. Yes? Do you believe I can do it? I believe I can create something that resembles a Venom cake within that time limit, and I will put money on that it will look somewhat like this Venom cake. <laughs> so I have all of my tools and my cake and fondant and whatever else I have in front of me. I'm excited. I think I can do this in 20 minutes. It should be easy. The only thing I'm kind of worried about are the teeth, but I think I can do it all right. We'll see. We'll see. Only time can tell. Ready, set, let's go. Okay, good job. Okay, so first we need this cake here. There we go. Just leveling it off the top, leveling off the top like that. And then we're gonna get the egg cake. We're gonna do the exact same thing. The reason I don't think I need that much more time is because, oh my God, this isn't leveling properly. This cake is too soft. Oh my God, it's breaking. You don't really have to carve anything because the egg shaped cake has the venom face shape, right? So now we're gonna fill the inside like that with some buttercream. And that way I don't have to worry about buttercream um, going onto the places where there isn't. So there we go. And, oh God, it's off. All right, uh, just push it over. That's, Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And now we're just going to cut away the extra. Cut away the extra cake, we're not gonna need it. 18 minutes already, okay. We got this, we got this. Well, actually, I think I need to cut a little bit more this so we have more of his like chin and his like lower jaw, I guess, okay. And so once we got that, we just start carving his mouth. That's the only thing we really have to carve. And we don't even really have to do a good job, but we should do a good job though. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a good job. Wow, 20 minutes goes by so fast. There, that's that's good. Boom, okay, so now we don't need this. Okay, 17 minutes and we're rolling fondant. Rolling black fondant, come on. Oh God, okay, we got this. Oh my God, the crumb coat, I forgot about the crumb coat. This, and we need to give this baby a crumb coat, just like that. There we go. And now we just, just like that. I wanna make sure I don't screw up his upper lip. 16 minutes, oh my God, 20 minutes is going by so fast. Everything, oh God, fondant. Okay, you know what? Um, What do I do? We need to add a little bit more on the side here because it's crumbling again. God. So we got that, now we add our fondant for the face. Tuck it in everywhere. Like that, okay. And just cut away the extra. Wow, that's good. Oh my God, I didn't tuck it in properly. The bottom of the cake is still showing. It's okay, we're gonna keep this just in case. I always throw away the extra fondant and then I need it later on, so we're gonna keep it. So we got that, I need to make a hole for his mouth. 14 minutes and we'll have a very nice looking Venom cake, I promise you. I promise you, you doubt me, don't doubt me. Okay, oh my God. And we need the inside of his mouth. Going to roll out some magenta fondant for his mouth. So I'm just gonna cut out a little bit of this. That's good. So inside, we're gonna tuck it inside. It's looking good. Looking good, we're just gonna pull that there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Oh my God, I don't wanna put too much pressure. Cause this cake is super soft. This is called the squishing technique. It's very popular with people who don't know what they're doing. So now what we need to do is we need to create the eyes with white fondant. We're already on the eyes. We're making good time. Right, so that I think is good. Is this a good eye? Is that a good eye? That is a good eye. Okay, so we need to duplicate that eye. Put this there and just cut it out. Cut out a second one. 
just come on, come on. We got our two eyes. Okay, I don't think it should be pointy, right? So I'm just gonna add that like that. Go over there. And this will go. It's too long. I'm gonna cut them. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Now, next we gotta blend. Gotta blend this into the black. Just a little bit. And this will actually add texture to the eye, but it'll also add texture to the symbiote mask, right? First, so, gum line. Oh my god, the teeth is what's gonna kill me. How do I do the teeth? Got this? Come on, gum line. Come on. I, I almost got this. Good? That's good, okay. See, his face isn't completely smooth and flat, so we don't have to worry too much about this looking pristine. All of the mistakes I made will look like they're part of the actual costume. Good, okay. So, what's what's next? Okay, um, teeth. I've got to create like a whole bunch of them and just stick them. Roll another little cone, tear it, stick it. Come on, come on now. Just stick, stick for me, like that. There you go. Oh God, his lower jaw has more teeth on it. I'm almost under the teeth. So after that, I can start painting. Um, hopefully I start painting in five minutes. We're almost done with the teeth. We're almost done, we're almost done. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it looks sick on camera. Camera makes everything look good. Except for when you put it on your face. The fact that his face is so ugly means I don't have to do as much like work. I just keep adding all of my mistakes and it adds texture and detail. And it looks like it was intentional instead of unintentional. Um, and so I think I'm gonna just roll out a cone. And we're just going to roll out a thick, juicy tongue, cause that's what he has. Thickest, juicy tongue I've ever seen. This must be a Guinness Book World Record. Cause I've never seen a juicier tongue. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Look how juicy that tongue is. Tongues are flat. We gotta flat this, flatten this baby out. We need like, what is it called? The, the tasting things? <laughs> that give you the flavor in your mouth? Taste buds, that's what it is. Flavor Nation, oh, that's what I was gonna call it. Um, just add some texture for taste buds. Okay, once it's nice and thick, we're just going to insert it into his mouth. That's what she said. And move some of these teeth out of the way. Okay. There we go, we got, oh my God, that's, okay. I need to fix some of his teeth on the top. Three minutes to fix the teeth. And then we're gonna add some juicy paint to make his eyes look better. Okay, so his eyes don't look Symmetrical. That okay. I guess it's fine. It's fine. Just gonna add. I want him to look angry. Oh, don't fall, tongue. Come on. I'm, okay. I'm under the clock. Gosh. Okay. So we're gonna add just a little bit of magic sauce diluted with black food coloring, and we're just gonna apply that to the edges of his eyes. Come on. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, that's too much. We're just gonna apply some depth and color to this so that it looks wet. Cause the symbiote looks wet, right? Like a seal or a dolphin or a venom. Also, it looks like a venom. Okay, so we want this whole thing to look wet. Oh yeah, I forgot about this technique that I, I taught myself, which is just apply magic sauce everywhere. You don't need a bowl. Apply it straight onto your cake and you're fine. Some magic sauce and there we go. Look at that venom cake. Oh, oh my God. That is bomb. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm gonna push in his chin just a little bit. What? What? Man, 
I'm gonna add some magic sauce into his mouth. There we go. Wow! Holy Moses, man. I did that in 20 minutes. What? That is crazy. That is crazy good for 20 minutes. Four, three, two, one. Did it, did it. Wow, I'm so proud of this, man. 20 minutes? Yeah, look at all that teeth. Man, you're a very toothy guy. I can't believe how sick this looks for 20 minutes. It looks pretty fantastic. If you are a newbie and you are trying to make this for your kid, this is such a doable cake. Even if you don't have the egg mold and you have to carve it by hand, I mean, all of your mistakes just add texture and highlight different parts of the Venom symbiote. Look at that. I mean, they don't look that close but this looks more comic booky and that looks more realistic right that is amazing now make sure you check out my in-depth tutorial on how to create a bomb venom cake it'll take a lot longer than 30 minutes but it's worth it well i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments what cake you'd like to see me do next if you want to see more of my 30 minute cakes i will link some stuff at the end as well as in the description box i love you i will see you very soon Oh, <laughs>